All right, guys. I uh, no longer have a Mustang shelf. It's not used as a shelf for anything except for the couple little things that are going to go with the project and my coffee and water bottle up front. Um, I'm going to uh, start looking into it, see what it needs, what it's got going on, where it's been. I have not even really looked into everything on this thing for probably, I'd, I'd guess, about five to seven years. Um, so we're going to get moving on getting it uh, taken care of. So first steps, let's uh, just throw some of these off to the side here. And uh, I'm gonna see what's in the trunk. You guys are along for the ride. What's in the trunk? Nothing. Huh. Apparently, I didn't put anything in here when I stored it. Uh, the light blue color is the original paint. The sand is yes. When I was young and dumb, I tried to sandblast with an actual sand. Isn't that fun? So uh, yeah, I gotta get this car cleaned out, start looking at everything. I know that I have to replace this panel over here. I got some things hanging out down here. What is this? Oh, some trim pieces from the dash. I wanna uh, check out these quarters. They got some weird looking marks on them, but I don't think there's patches, so we'll see. But uh, all in all, East Coast car, built in the Jersey factory. We'll see uh, how much rust it actually has. All right, we're gonna continue uh, detailing the rust and issues. So, looks like uh, where the trim screws went in, you got some rust around here on this side. It's not too bad. Up here is really good. Around the top of the window looks decent. Around the other side, it looks like somebody, I don't know what they used, it almost looks like chewing gum to patch a hole. So let's go over and take a look at that. Speaking of holes, I thought I was gonna be able to just uh, keep this trunk lid and put the uh, Eleanor style thing on it, but with all this rust, I may not. I'll have to get this apart, see what's going on in here. Uh, it could just be a patch piece and then the Eleanor fiberglass over it. Man, this thing is, the seal is hard as a rock. Anyway, what did they use to patch this? That is ugly. Has anyone seen anything like that? It's flaking. Yeah, well, that was how some, some of the water was getting into the back, but the rest of the panel looks decent, all good. So I'm just gonna, uh, tear the rust out of that oh man that's sheet metal. that's not sheet metal what is that that's flexible that's putty anyway so the sheet metal underneath the putty looks somewhat decent a little bit of surface rust so I might have to just do a little patch right down in that corner but nothing to replace there some pitting in this piece here where the paint chipped off but I should be able to take care of that pretty well now, right here, I got this all over the car. There's spots where the bare metal's showing, but not rusting. And it tells me that somebody used some sort of acid-based dip or something when they cleaned this off, or maybe that Osfo stuff, and they never cleaned it off in certain spots. And uh, it's the bare metal's there and not rusting, except for down here, obviously. It's got some rust going on. The drip rails are in good shape all the way around, which is one of the reasons I got the car. I like, you know, I'm gonna keep the drip rails. Got some little little pieces of rust around here, and the reason I got the car so cheap, their paint job failed, and the guy was just sick and tired of it. Um, like I said, I think somebody in a previous life put some sort of chemical on these bare pieces or used them for cleaning, and literally the paint flakes off. I can just use my fingers, pull off pieces of paint. And the bare metal under there has been, it's been out in the rain when I lived on the East Coast. I didn't have a garage at that house. Um, out here, it's been garage kept, but man, this, this has been exposed metal for 11 years that I've had this car now. I've had this car 11 years today. And uh, yeah. 
I need it. Luckily, these look like they're in good shape. They were replacement. Somebody probably did a decent job replacing them. I hope. Uh, it's not until I tear it apart to find out. Um, see what's going on. It does not look like the uh, inner cow's leaking, so that's a good news. There's some issues in here. You gotta love the battery hold down system. I had to uh, implore this wonderful battery hold down to get the car up on trailers and move it around uh, because the stock one decided to disintegrate. It is literally completely rusted out under there. I can, you know, you can see holes uh, through the metal right there. That hole's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be metal. You got some surface rust on the fog lights. The front bumper is going to go away, so I'm not worried about that. The splash panel seems like it's in good shape. I'm going to reuse that because I want to keep the stock grill. Change up the front bumper area, but I'm going to keep the stock grill, which means I'm going to keep this stock splash guard here. The thing that threw me off, and I've seen it written online, other guys talk about it, is you get two VIN numbers up here. You got your VIN number that the car is, and then you got the next VIN number in sequence, and I don't know why it's there. Because that one ends in 4-8. You can kind of see that 8 if I dig at it. So, it's weird that this is the, the VIN number for my car. This is the same VIN number. This is actually sequentially one more number. Very strange. I have some fender damage that I didn't have prior to moving across country. In the cross country move, the trailer had uh, lost an axle. And in the aftermath, when we pulled the car out of the trailer, we found that something, and it looked like a, the axle itself popped up through the floor of the trailer, nailed it, ripped out, uh, some of the trim. I'm not going to save the trim, but the trim was in good shape before all this happened. And uh, crease the fender. Now that should be able to be pulled out if this fender is rust free. So I got to check all that because the fit and finish on the fender is in decent shape. Um, the headlight buckets aren't too bad. And uh, all my other gaps were good. So if I can keep this fender, that would be great. I just need to see if I can bend out the, the damage down there and hopefully it didn't get to the rocker. We uh, we got some what looks like pitting underneath the the red paint here, and we, I know that red paint is just a uh, a crappy paint job. These doors, you got the normal bit of bubbling on the the front, the rear. Of that door is not too bad, and it's got a ton of door dings across these lines. But I'm not going to worry about that, at least for right now. When I get things ripped apart, I can tell if uh, I'm going to be replacing the doors or not. So again, when I bought the car, I got I told the guy, I'm like, oh, it's rusted out through there. This whole piece has to be replaced. And when you dig into it, it wasn't rusted out. It was literally just a bad paint job. The stock paint underneath there is in good shape. It was just the uh, paint on the outside. It was bubbling up. Okay, guys, one more quick clip of things I'm finding. Um, before I go and try and edit this into one video instead of all these little clips. Um, I tore off, this was already torn up, you can see that in the other previous videos. But the, uh, the front course port looks like it's in really good shape, it's not bent, not twisted, nothing. Um, is it, these are all stapled on. So this rubber was all stapled on. This is, I just find weird, but uh, it happens. The other little thing I found, the hood is in good shape except for one spot. It looks like something, probably the battery when the battery box, because it's right above it when the battery box was dead, either the hold down or something, popped up here and hit, it put a dent here, or uh, hit the metal there and started rusting from underneath. And on top, that same spot, there's a little dimple up. So. That's the only issue with this hood that I've found so far. Oh, aside from those hood hinges that are completely sideways. Those are bent out of shape. Um, but that happens. I'm not worried about those. So I'm, I'm finding good stuff up front here. I found uh, a good thing and a bad thing in the back. Trunk lid? Scratching at it? It's the stock paint underneath there. This is a stock deck lid. I like that. 
I will definitely try and fix that deck lid instead of replace it. Um, and like I mentioned in some of my previous videos. So that's the good news. The bad news, and this goes back into this deck lid and if I'm gonna repair it, but there does not seem to be any warpage or anything. But something hit the gas tank pretty hard. I'm not sure if this car was in a previous rear end collision or what. It should not bow in like that. Um, and it's nice and creased up in here, my, you know. So, yeah, something, something hit that gas tank at some point. So, when I dig into this car, I might find some, uh, some damage I wasn't expecting. 